All right, to solve this problem, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to turn this right here into 2 sine x cosine x plus sine x equals 0. Now, the reason I had to do that is because now what I can do is factor out a sine from both of these. When I do that, I get sine of x, and what stays here is 2 cosine x. What stays here is 1. And now I can use the zero product property to set this equal to 0 and this equal to 0. Sine of x equals 0, or 2 cosine x plus 1 equals 0, which means cosine x equals negative 1 half. Where does the sine of x equal 0? Look at your unit circle. Sine of x is the y coordinate, so where does the y coordinate equal 0? And we're solving it within 0 and 2 pi, like that. So pi and 2 pi? 0, uh, 0, uh -huh. and pi. Mm -hmm. okay. And where does the cosine of x equal negative 1 half? Again, the cosine is the, is the x coordinate on your unit circle. So where is that 1 half? Is it the 60 degree or 30 degree? Uh, reference angle. Six, 60 degrees. Here's how I always do it in my head. I, I think it like this. The x is the smaller one, which means it's the bigger angle. It's the 60 degree. But notice it's negative. Mm -hmm. So where's the cosine negative? Here okay. and here. So what are those two angles? 120. Good. 120. And 180 plus 60 is? So there are your four answers. And now let's talk about how you can check it. Use your store button and make sure you're in, well, I'm writing some in degrees and some in radians. Let's turn them all into degrees. I don't know if they want a degrees or radians, but we'll do it like that. If your calculator is in degrees, store, let's say 120 for x. Store in your x value store 120 and then type this equation in just like this and then hit enter and you should get zero and then store 240 in for x type in type in 240 hit the store button and then hit x and then hit second enter second enter and it'll get you back to that and then hit enter and you should get zero and so you should know if those are the right answers and not just wonder